Willie, Wilbo, Wilbo Baggins. It's got timber and stone. Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode 28. Yeah, I think this is 28 of the Casually Avid Gamer Plays Timber and Stone. I'm really glad you guys are here. Uh, now, our focus this episode is going to be on, I think we'll call this the inn, I mean, the hall. Technically, the hall is right here. But uh, I think we're going to make it look like an inn, uh, the, as the kind of gathering spot of the town. I think that should should look pretty cool. But first off, it looks like we're running into some storage issues. So let's take care of that real quick. Objects. Storage. Armor. Armor chest. Where shall we put you, armor chest? I don't know. Where would be the good place to put you? Along the wall here? As many have done before you. Ah, there we go. Is that how we rotate? Yes, we'll do... Oh, wait. Just put it there. Alright, a uh, carpenter should be along... Was that a carpenter? Crafted by a blacksmith. Blacksmith should be along shortly to, to build that. He's not doing anything else right now because we don't really have much in the way of resources uh, that we really want to build with. Uh, we've pretty much gotten into the highest tier of tools available for most people. So the standard ingots aren't really useful for that anymore. Um, they'll be useful for things like wall sconces and, and stuff like that. What we don't have is any of this. Although, actually, let's check our resources. Do we have... Let's see. We got one iron ore. Okay, so we're, we're low on ore. And actually, we are... I'm having... Well, I'm... We. I, I'm having a lot of trouble really kind of balancing our resources. Um, we are down to 41 wood. I've got two guys chopping wood. Um, although, and they're doing a great job, but they're still only at 42 wood. So let's get some more going there. Uh, remove trees, chop mature. There we go. And you get all these to remove too. So we're going to keep them busy. The trees will keep growing. We'll, we'll probably end up having to do a tree farm at some point. But yeah, I'm having a heck of a time keeping all of our resources going. Like our tailor, Mary Moore, she can't keep up with everything she needs to do. Like she's making some armor right now. She's making uh, leather boots when she can, when she has the leather. And we have zero cloth. And we've got something like 148, uh, 146 cotton, 42 wool. And she just, she's having trouble keeping up storage. Did that take care of the wood? Oh, I know why wood, because we're making timber and strong timber. And we're doing that because of, or we're having, we're keeping so much timber on hand because of what we're building with. We're building with timbered brick right there. So it's brick surrounded by timber. And then the, I guess the wall to the courtyard is full timber. And this is starting to look really good. I'm, I'm really pleased with how this is turning out. Uh, one thing we're also kind of running short on, I have two stonemasons creating brick and plaster. And it's not going quickly. That's for sure. So they're having a trouble keeping our, our guys really busy. So, huh. And, oh, good, they're, they've almost got what we've had selected built out. And you can see where I'm, I'm leaving windows here. And it's looking pretty good, I think. So, what next? Uh, let's get another layer of timbered brick on, I think. Construction walls, timbered, timbered brick. There we go. So we're going to start here to there. Nice. There to there. Go. Good. 
good. All right, and that should cap off the wall. Or yeah, the the or it'll cap off all the windows and give it a little more defined look. And then, not at the level this is at, but the level above it is going to be our floor. And so we're going to need to get stairs kind of squared away right off the bat, I think. So, and I think, our, I th I'm trying to think about what, what I'm going to do with that, the second floor. Are we going to go with, uh, like, rooms, like it is an inn, and just have, I don't know, uh, tables and whatnot that down here, maybe a, a bar or something? I'm not sure. But the question is, is where are we going to put... Uh, the, the stairway, maybe right here, kind of coming up there, or maybe, ooh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I'm going to have to decide here sometime soon, I'm sure. A merchant is here, now where is Leonard, our good buddy Leonard, I'm not even sure what we're set up to buy, it's been a while since, uh, since I've played, well it's been a weekend, or been an entire week. Uh, but Leonard needs to get up here and do some commerce. Right, buddy? No, 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 don't. Oh, wait, we we, we jumped to him. Uh, unit list, pause. Leonard, trade for us, please, Leonard. And at least beat the merchant over here. Oh, that shouldn't be hard, buddy. Here you go. And he's going to come in here and hang out in the shadow of our inn that's being constructed. So we got that there. And you know, those, those windows look awfully big, don't they? I don't know if I put another layer up here. Because I think if we put the add another layer down here... They're not going to be able to see out the window. It'll, it's going to look like they can't see out of it. Huh. I'm not sure which to do, guys. I'm, I'm really not. Oh, there's Leonard. There's our trader walking in. They're going to stare each other down for a little bit. What's like, hey, I'm in the middle of this. Uh, one short sword for one coin. Sure, what else are we going to do with our short swords? Alright, well. Do we get up to our max plaster? Who's this? That's Marshall, our blacksmith. Good thing, good news is, Marshall is a level 17 blacksmith. That means we can make the best sword in the game as soon as we have the uh, the resources for it as, as we find them. Uh, one stone axe for one coin. Sure, we can do that. I'm trying to remember what we're buying. Ah, selling us animal hide for coin. Yes, we will take that. And I'm, I'm guessing that's probably it. You're probably leaving after that. Okay, wood. What are we doing with wood? Okay, so... We need to fix that real quick. Objects, storage, storage, there we go. Wood. Well, since it's all timber, we should do a timber pile, I think. And timber pile there. We're gonna do another one out here because we do a lot of wood chopping out here. So, boom, should be good. Hopefully that'll help. Okay, are you guys done? Is, is, is that it already? Don't tell me that's it. <sighs> Killing me, Smalls. Killing me. All right, you guys, get this stuff built. Get back to work. Uh, our best builder is Mary Moore. Um, and Leonard's now done. Leonard, you did okay. I guess you can stay. 
Uh, get back to mining, though, buddy. You're just slacking off now. Our best builder, Mary Moore, uh, I've got actually training as infantry because she was only like at level four. And we're cross training as much as we can. Um, just in case something goes like catastrophically wrong with the wall. I don't know that it could or would, but uh, just in case, <laughs> uh, I want everybody to be well armed uh, with stabby implements and decent armor and all that good stuff. Alright, so that's coming in pretty good, and while it's covered in scaffolding, the I like the outer wall here. I left a couple of gaps in just, like, for character, and it seems to work pretty well. That just seems so big, doesn't it? I think probably adding a second level is the way to go just to make it seem smaller by <laughs> the the size of the build around it. So this build's getting bigger as we build it, and that's that's okay. Let's see what else is going on. How are we we've got plenty of plaster, which is good or well, that's not plenty. That will go quickly. But we're going to do the second floor. Uh, instead of timbered brick all the way up, we're going to do the second floor in timbered plaster, which should give it a pretty, I think, unique look. Let's see. We've got leather coming in from the animal hide we bought. We've got plenty of cloth now. That's excellent. Uh, and uh, home slice the witchy jiggy, the, 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 the merchant. Home slice the witchy jiggy. That's obvious who I'm talking about, right? Man, I'm a professional... YouTuber, leap gamer skills, and I completely distracted myself. Okay, you guys got to keep me on point. Uh, let's. Okay, Mary, not Mary. That's Scarlet. Scarlet's going making cloth. That's awesome. Our resources. Oh, look at look at all that. That's she's got so much. <laughs> she's got so much stuff to do. All right, process material, cloth. We want to keep on hand. Oh, not just 40. I'm thinking, well, we're just going to set it at 100. Or, let's set it, yeah, let's set it at 90. <laughs> yeah, because that's a huge difference. Um, we'll just get this all made. That way, it's not building up as, you know, cotton and wool. It's building up as cloth, which is much more sellable. It takes up less space in our inventory. And that's good. So we've got standard ingots. We've got six standard ingots, which, meh, whatever. Um, and only two strong. I think. Uh, let's see. Um, resources. Process material. No, we've only got two solid. We need... We've got nine strong ingots. Holy shnikes! Um, okay, it, it's time, guys. Let's make a look at it. broadsword. Okay, uh, we're gonna need a couple more, or yeah, one or two more strong ingots. But let's make ourselves look at that, 30 damage. That is amazing. But yeah, okay. Uh, let's make ourselves a couple of broadswords. That's gonna be awesome. Um, process materials. We'll need one more strong ingot. So let's put that there. Yeah, and that, okay, that's, that's awesome, guys. That's, like, way awesome. Uh, and I had, uh, Scarlet make us some bandages just to see if they would sell. They haven't sold yet. I don't know how much they'd go for. Uh, probably only a coin, like with the arming caps, but we'll just have to see. Um, do we queue up a few more? Probably, since I believe our arming caps are at max, yeah, we've got 30. <laughs> 30 in hand and we've got a ton of cloth coming in so yeah let's try some more process material bandages there we go put yeah 10 more in the queue that should be that should be plenty to sell okay can you guys tell that I'm still really having trouble trying to keep our our, our our supplies in the right balance 
it's 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 tricky now that we're kind of converting into just like major building and not worry, having to worry quite so much about defense. So Mary's Mary's training that's good. Where are you at, Mary? She's a level eight infantry. That's excellent. Soon you will be level ten. And then there will be nothing more those dummies can do for you. And wow. So we're burning through trees quickly. Man, oh man. This is <laughs> this is a lot of doings. Do we get everything over here too? Wow, we. Um, well, I think we're going to have to designate a few more. And actually, let me do that and then we will cut to the the next to the next episode. <laughs> yeah, you weren't expecting a rap quote, were you? <laughs> All right, guys, like I said, I don't care for filming in the dark, so uh, I will check in with you guys in the morning. The morning's come, and we have terrible news. A goblin's been spotted by Jillian. Let's jump to where Jillian is at. Where are you, my dear? That's William. Jillian, your woodchopper. Jump to. All right, let's clear some of this down huh all right well this is gonna be interesting let's see we are going to need some infantry indeed we will oh that's actually pretty easy to spot so design military guard positions right there Make it bigger. Five. All right. Now, this actually shouldn't be a big deal. Hopefully, there's just one of him. Uh, we'll do uh, a pretty hardcore sweep. Otherwise, so let's see. Units. Who we have for infantry? Raf is already in infantry. William is being an engineer, which is kind of unnecessary right now. Let's see, Celestine's being a farmer. Simon's being a builder, which they're not keep or our stonemasons aren't keeping it up with the demand for brick anyway. So that's three. Wit, you're you, tag. You're in, buddy. Um, let's see, Mary Moore's level ten. She's also a builder. We do want to keep making some progress, so I don't think we're going to do that. Um, Vincent's a stonemason. Or Celestine's a farmer. All right. So next up, uh, stand at guard positions. Thank you, Simon. Celestine, you should also stand at guard positions. Who's this? Willie, Wilbo, Wilbo Baggins, stand at guard positions. Yes. Raff, you too shall stand at guard positions. And then Wit right there, stand it on the fence. Wit on the fence as normal. All right, y'all. We just need... Okay, are there different goblins or is that the same goblin? One goblin, two, two goblins. All right. Evidently, they can come over the wall. Um... That's sad, but you know what? We'll deal. We'll, we'll keep dealing with it. Oh, wait, where are you going? You go back here. You come back here. Wait for your fellows. And you're going up to handle that goblin. I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you came over here to this goblin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. All right, where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Oh, yeah, everybody. Get over here. Get over here, and you. You don't fight goblins on your own, buddy. 
All right, kids, go get them. The goblin's been spotted by William. We're at. All right, they're all coming from the same area, which that's a thing, I guess. All right, charge him. Go get him, tigers. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Oh, Raph, run, buddy. What's wrong with you? Raph's almost dead. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's see. Let's gather resources. Gather resources. Where is our last cat? Gather resources. All right, guys. Um, well, we're going to leave it on pause, and we're going to take a look at stuff, because I don't want goblins to keep popping up and bothering us. So this is our inn so far, and it's starting to look starting to look good. I think adding that second layer of brick there helps the windows feel a little less tiny. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we are going to need to build some stairs upwards from, I think, the top floor to be there. So I think the next stair is going to have to be there. So I'm going to uh, put in some stairs going down this way. And I think I'm going to put in another set over here so that uh, there's more than one way up and down. Not that I think there's going to be anything useful on the second floor, but we will be putting things like beds up there. Uh, so maybe soldiers will be going to heal there. I hope. All right, so between this episode and the next, I'm going to do a little sweep with some of my inventory, and we are going to hunt down as many goblins as we can. Okay, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of The Casually Avid Gamer Plays Timber and Stone. I hope you guys are liking it. I know I am. Please click that like button, click that subscribe button. I want you guys to have a great week, and we'll talk to you next time.